definitely did not expect my very first homegrown lemon that I would enjoy to be on such a rainy day. Also, this lemon was very weird. It's like extremely small, but I think it was overripe. I didn't get much lemon in my water. I am going to attempt to do my makeup like everyone's been doing lately. We're gonna see how it goes. I already kind of did my eyebrows. What I mean by that is like the contour, highlight, and then put foundation all over and it's all like liquid stuff. I feel like a lot could go wrong here. I don't know, I'm nervous. While I do that, I'm gonna chit chat with you. So I'm a little bit disappointed so far, but I'm trying not to beat myself up. Um, so far with one of my New Year's resolutions goals that I knew was kind of unattainable So I shouldn't have done it, but I really wanted to be able to put up a vlog once a week also the camera is shaking because Cowboy is right there. I just I didn't vlog as much in 2022 because I just I don't know I didn't feel like I had a goal or purpose for it And then when I simply decided oh I should have a goal to just once a week check in with a vlog I was super excited about it But then I don't know we went on you know this road trip to Palm Springs and it just threw me off I look at my last vlog it says it was uploaded 12 days ago from today So I'm mad at myself for that, but maybe I can just start fresh start anew here I miss the first week which is terrible or the second week and see how I can take it from there. Um, okay, I bought this like bronzer thing. Cause this is just all the rage doing this. Okay, and then you're supposed to, you're not supposed to blend it out. You're just supposed to leave it. And then you're supposed to just put your foundation over the top. I think you can just barely, maybe just barely, see a little bit of a contour. I feel like it just like immediately blended right out into nothing. I do love the foundation technique. So my other goal was to upload once a week on my real estate channel as well, which has not happened. But I have been actively working on a video. Um, the problem is, love Palm Springs, love it to death favorite place in the world truly oh my god it's so easy to get distracted though and not want to work like this morning i woke up took the dogs on a walk and then was like oh i should go to the driving range really quick and then that turned into going to breakfast and then that turned into coming home getting some work done and then that turned into going in the hot tub and taking a shower and here we are now i worked like two hours today that's not good at the same time it's amazing it's nice it's nice to just be able to relax and chill it's, it's not that I don't want to work. I like being productive and getting stuff done. The thing is, like, everyone that I'm surrounded with here is retired. So they don't have to work. So they don't. So they're, like, in the middle of the day. Do you want to go golf? You know? And it's like, you don't want to say no, but I probably should. Do you guys want some real tea on my life? I feel compelled to talk about because... So I'm with my sister Shelby, my twin sister Shelby. I'm sure a ton of you guys know her. When I'm with her, you know, it's weird and I've never talked about this like really to anyone, but I've thought about it more recently. It's weird because I love hanging out with her and I love being around her, but she's my twin sister. And as her twin sister, it's really hard for me to not compare myself to her. Not in a way of like looks or money or anything like that, but in a way of like what I should be doing with my life. And I'll tell you right now, Shelby is, she's really hardworking, she's really motivated, and she's really focused. And when I'm around her, it's like she's always working on things and I'm not working on things as much as her. I feel like I'll, you know, I'll go golf, I'll go hang out. I won't wake up as early as her. I have like worse habits than her for sure. I'll drink more wine than her. I'll eat a little bit more unhealthy. I'm like, I feel like a worse version of her. Truly deep down, it's honestly how I always feel. I feel like I'm the worst bad habit version of Shelby. And you see it in like, Shelby makes more money than me. She's skinnier than me. She has more subscribers than me. Like, you you see it as a result she has these things and now that doesn't make me feel bad about myself like I like where I'm at in my life and like I don't think that I'm oh my god there's like a cat meowing so loud whoa 
it sounded like my cat Leo. He died, by the way, guys. It was sad. He, like, went out one day and never came back. But that meow sounded just like him, which is crazy. Could you imagine if he just showed up here a thousand miles from home? Back on topic, I don't, I don't feel worse about myself because of that stuff. I don't feel worse about myself because I don't make as much as her because I'm still happy with how much I make. I don't feel worse about myself because I'm not as skinny as her because I still, I'm like okay with how my body looks. Though I would like to work out more just in general. I do feel worse about myself with my habits though. Um, and like, it sucks because I really, I don't think I'm like a terrible person with the worst habits in the world. You know, I'm not like really doing anything totally wrong, but being a twin is really weird because you have this person that looks like you but and you you can't help but compare yourself to that person and everyone around you also can't help but do it too like everyone does I know it for better or for worse like it's just impossible not to right so it's just weird because what I struggle with is feeling guilty that I'm not being as productive as Shelby's being because it feels like that's what I'm supposed to be doing and it's really hard to talk myself out of that and tell myself, no, you don't have to compare yourself to Shelby in those ways. You don't have to be as productive as she's being. Just because she worked 10 hours today doesn't mean you have to. You have your own life and all these things. And honestly, even being aware of it and saying it out loud, it doesn't even help. It really doesn't. It's still just really hard to be around. And so it's just hard to be around. I don't know. At least I'm aware of it now because for a long time I feel like, I mean, this is the first time literally in my entire life that I'm speaking it out loud. But these have been things my entire life. Like Shelby in grade school was put into like the smarter classes than me. Um, in sports growing up, she was immediately like kind of leveled into a higher level of gymnastics than me, things like that. And eventually I worked really hard and I actually got better than her in gymnastics, but like it did not come naturally. Not that it came naturally for her either. She had to work hard too, but 2022 was a year that also for the first time in my life, I felt like I was living in Shelby's shadow. I had moments of that because I, in 2021, uploaded a lot less on YouTube because I got more into real estate. And like, we would meet people in person on several occasions where they would only come up to Shelby and not me. And be like, Shelby, I love your videos and didn't know who the hell I was, which is fine, <laughs> like whatever. I really don't care about that at all. Like, But what was weird was when we went to a brand event that the brand invited both me and Shelby too. And they just acted so much more interested in her. Like they, I think they like thought I was her assistant. Like I started coming to things with Shelby where like I feel like I was not getting the respect I deserved as a human and I was just treated like Shelby's assistant. It's just kind of weird because I am my own person too. <sighs> I don't worry too much about that stuff, but I had a few moments where I, basically I was just like, shit, I gotta make YouTube videos again, man. People are forgetting who I am and like, I miss it, <laughs> you know? And that's what kind of got my myself to be like, I should get back into it. Like, I really miss it. I miss the connection. Anyways, it's like 4 p.m. and I like didn't do a lot today. <laughs> I didn't do a lot this week. Although I did, I did a lot of studying for my license renewal. I'm like halfway done with it already, which is great. I need to get that done. And then I wanna start on my California license. That's gonna be a very big task. That was my little chit chat. Okay, let's see if we can get Cowboy to come say hi. Cowboy, <gasps> come here, come here. Hi, cow. Oh, cowboy, you look like a little bumblebee on the yellow. Cowboy, I'm gonna out him right now. His breath is so bad and I brush his teeth too. Cowboy loves it here. Well, it was a rainy, gross day, so I decided I'm just gonna sit here and edit a video and I just finished editing my video and The sun, it came out, it's here, it's finally here. If the rain would go away and the sun would come out every time I edit a vlog, there'd be a lot more Monica vlogs. Whoa.
I have to say probably like the most unexpected thing about Palm Springs is the I guess little aerospace hub that we have here there's a really cool air museum never been to it I need to go we'll do that before we leave I said that last time and the time before and the time before but I swear this time we'll do that and you kind of get like this air show like when it's the high season you can they have vintage planes and you can pay to go up in them and from my backyard you just you get like an air show every day you see cute little planes flying around and then a couple times a day fighter jets go by they they go out of the airport and I believe it's like some contract with the government where they do some training here at the Palm Springs Airport and so every day you can hear them and I get outside and I start going do 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 you know like the Maverick Top Gun yeah so it's really cool every time I just think it's like the coolest thing yeah I just can't believe this it's it's a beautiful day now this is so cool we got to Palm Springs I want to say like a week ago and every single day has been cloudy or rainy except for one day and finally we're through that and the weather app says we're supposed to have just Sun from here on out and it's such a treat because I just assumed today would be like totally rainy all day but I guess it's coming early This is not a guilt-free pizza. Uh, one for me. It looks pretty good. 